Hello friends, I'm Colonel Failure and this is Train Fever. We are standing at the, uh, I would say crossroads, it's not a crossroads. Uh, we are standing at this junction uh, that uh, that has rather a large number of, uh, of vehicles due any time in the next century uh, to uh, to start supplying lumber goods out to the, uh, the, the well, the Mediterranean region of this map. Um, I, got, I started here speculatively, uh, largely because I wanted to see if there were any new vehicles. There weren't. No R yeah for you, or indeed me. So, uh, so trams, not yet. We're waiting for trams. Uh, we're waiting for trucks as well. Anybody? Anyone? Anywhere? At all? Because we've got stuff waiting to go. Here we go. See? Lumber, lumber is occurring. Row lumber. That should be lumber goods. Yeah, yeah see? That's, we start out with a, a naming convention error. Uh, lumber goods. Right. Good. Pretend that was a, how it was originally. I am an efficient operator, as you all know. Uh, anyway, this week uh, we are going to uh, we're going to start by by completing the horseshoe route. See, look at all these slow fellas. I can't wait till I get actual trucks. That that will make such a difference. We're going to start by expanding this line here. So hold on, I shall just get a train up so I can get the line. Thank you. Um, Yes, so this is going to become known as the Horseshoe, and it will be one of the world's greatest railway journeys ever, heading from Rowan out in the uh, out in the, the wilds of, of Spain, uh, up to Wicarki, and then round the corner here to Sass, Sass, Sass. The, the echo was my doing, uh, and then heading across, jump into Italy, into the toe of Italy for Pacific Diamond. Um, now, we're not quite ready to head into Pacific Diamond yet because nobody lives there. It's like, you know, three and a half cows or something like that that actually live there at the moment. We are delivering goods now, so, so they should expand. But the first thing I want to do is, uh, right, from here, we want to head out to Rowan and then back to Wikaki. Like that. Now, let's see what kind of... A, that's not a colour that's going to show up anytime soon. Let's see what that's done to the route. It's made the route jolly happy. Excellent. Right, so uh, let's call this, uh, in fact, you know, horseshoe. Horseshoes. No. No, just just the one shoe. Um, uh, let's call it South South, South Europe. South Europe. All right, I'm going to keep going back and forth on what it should be called, but, uh, but we'll... Uh, We'll come up with a, a suitable name at some point. In order to keep that running efficiently, I do need to stick just a couple of signals in. Because um, there's, I mean, there's two trains on the route at the moment. I might add a third. Might you indeed? Yes, I, I might. Uh, the, my, my basic rule of thumb is you add one train per, uh, per station on your route. Now, there's no science behind this in the slightest because obviously uh, each route can be... Uh, uh, very different in, in terms of length, but uh, it seems to have put me in, in reasonably good stead so far. Actually, I ought to have a look and make sure it's not doing something wacky at this station. Yes, maybe. Anyway, uh, that should do it. I'm, I'm not going to. I'm not going to trust it completely. We go to South Europe. No wackiness was had. Right, smashing. Um, in which case, maybe another train? Is it train time? No, they've got one that's relatively close right now. The perfect place to put a train is back out. It's, it's, it's right away down here in Rowan. Uh, if we have a quick look at the time this takes, 14 minutes. Yeah, you see, you, you, you're pushing the, uh, the length of service that uh, anyone's prepared to take. So we're going to get another, we're going to borsig going, and uh, and we'll we'll stick some of the new cars on, I think, some of these Bavarian numbers, versus the Spanish bread train. Oh yeah, totally. Uh, what do we think? Twenty-four passengers ought to be enough, but thirty-two would be better. Right, there we go. Southern Europe, off you go. Right now, that should give enough spacing so that. Uh, the trains aren't waiting for one another, and even if they do end up waiting for one another, they will uh, 
uh, over time, uh, kind of close that gap or open that gap so that such a thing becomes a, a problem of the past. All right, we'll, uh, we'll pop back on that a little later and see how Rowan's getting on there. Equally, it would be very nice if any goods were ever delivered on this route. <gasps> oh, hold on, pickups are being made. Here we go, we're just gonna watch a bit of this and then we're off to the US. So please hold, rather, not US, North America. My aim is going to be to ping pong back and forth between, uh, between Europe and America. Uh, and, uh, and I think uh, in the next episode we'll probably look at something, something Nordic because uh, they haven't had a great deal of attention so far. Right, where are you headed? You're headed to Pacific Diamond. How exciting. It'll be exciting if you pick any goods up anyway. And, well, two, half exciting. Fair enough. Good, right, that's working. Good, smashing, that's gonna make me some cash. Right, okay, here we go. So, the last work we did over here was getting this oil route set up, uh, which is supply, where is it supplying? It, it will be supplying four, if I've got any sense. Uh, Onion Jack and Brownville are both getting supplied from this route. Uh, equally, last thing we did here was we added a couple more, uh, a couple more oil wagons. Now, it's got a full load, which is always a good sign. Struggling to get much above 20 miles per hour, which is not ideal. But it does mean that there's room for expansion in the future. Likewise, look at this lot. Ah, oh, yes, of course, we're also uh, supplying uh, Telman, and we're supplying Christmas by rail. That's pretty bold stuff for me early on in the game. I don't know what I'm thinking. Right, anyway, I want to go head up to Let's Go Canada. Let's uh, let's see what's going on up here. Right, so librarian is the is the centre of the known universe, and I finished off last episode by talking about uh, goods auto supplying themselves. So what have we got going on here? We have got some kind of lumber thing that I should be operating. In fact, am operating, but the game is taking it upon itself to uh, to kind of generate its own money. Well, at this point, as long as I'm making profit, I'm not overly fussed about the AI kind of, you know, cheekily making a bit of cash for itself. The question is, what do I want to do? Do we want to do a goods route? I want to do another passenger route, really. Um, but there's a lot of AI goods that I ought to, uh, I ought to put out of business just for, just for the, the principle of the thing. Okay, let, let's talk passenger routes here because let's, let's get those developing. So, uh, a Yeol Sukitani route would appear to be, you know, on the cards at some point in the future. Again, this could be a this could be another light rail rail light railway. However, we could light railway over there. Not that either of these two are in any way going to be troubled by um, uh, by geography when it comes to actually laying in proper routes. But ye old librarian Weber, and then. Coles, Weber to both Colesver and Frenchton, turn Weber into a, a rather splendid junction town. All right, that's where we're going to start. We'll start out with a, a nice big station here. And again, I, I'm still not at the point yet where uh, where I've, uh, I've I've truly figured out what my agenda is for this series. Uh, you know, I, I mentioned it. I mentioned it last time around. I'm going to mention it probably repeatedly. Um, I haven't yet decided what the uh, the wacky plan is beyond having a wacky map. Right. So I've just deleted that link. Uh, you were here. You spotted that as well. Um, and the reason I've done that is because I want to get the station in right about there. Uh, probably with uh, yeah, with the road on the on the side of the station that will actually lead to some passengers. And one of the things I need to do early, or well, maybe when I'm around the five million mark in terms of cash in the bank, is uh, is start shaping uh, or start directing the shape of the towns by uh, by hemming them in with track on the on the sides I don't want to work from. Uh, because I, I don't know if you've ever experimented with it or not, but certainly my experience has been that if you uh, if you lay track down, even in a you know in a speculative fashion or in a, a permanent fashion, 
the the AI is reluctant to try and find a way past it, whether that way is uh, uh, bridges or tunnels or whatever. Um, so, uh, so yeah. So one of one of the things I want to do is try and encourage growth around the stations as much as possible, so that they end up forming the, the kind of the center of town. Now that will happen organically over time anyway, um, just purely because of you know, well, for, for practical reasons, effectively. But uh, how am I going to do this? What's what are you thinking? I'm thinking something like this. Well, you're going to want an up and a downstream. Interesting. Let's see. Sorry, I have, I have, I, I've caused pause while I think about things. I want to turn this into two tracks, right? So something like that. All right, and then have the other two tracks merge on. But I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to put the. Uh, I, I don't want to make the the link too far out because uh, so if we're coming up then I'm going to need a diamond crossing of some description for routing purposes the, so it's going to lead to a little bit of queuing but we'll see we'll see how this pans out Yeah, I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to. I'm going to run it like this to begin with. Uh, the, the reason for for dilemmaage is obviously I'm going to run out in both directions. So we're going to run out to Frenchton before happening back on the on this route up here, or are we? Is that just is that redundant thinking? Once again, can't decide. How? Ex oh, that's well, that's that's a novelty. Uh, yeah, all right. Well, uh, TBC on that one. Um, hopefully, that, hopefully you can you know somewhat read my mind dilemma-wise. Let's just uh, you know have a quick look at this steady, like that. Right there we go. So Colesburg, Frenchton, get out of the way. Librarian, right? Librarian also goes yell like this, and we're going to come in on this side. So Librarian Station is going to need to be here. Yol has all the flexibility in the world to place wherever we like. Uh, equally, we're not going to make it out to, to Coles for Frenchton today. To be honest, what I want to do today is just a, a librarian to Weber. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Um, and once that's operational, we will uh, we'll get rid of the uh, uh, the road traffic that's doing the same bit. Hmm. All right, further ponderage needed. But let's uh, let's get straight back on with the with uh, station building. Uh, right about here ought to do the trick. I just want it so that it's it forms the the start of the corner out to Yeol. How's that? You are going to swan neck a bit if you do that. Uh, not that I'm made of money at this stage of the game, so look, maybe think about it for more than a second and a half before placing the thing. That's better. Right. Now it's a little bit it's a little bit out of town to start with. But it shouldn't be so far out that uh, that nobody wants to use it. Not to mention the fact I'm about to get a whole bunch of spare surface vehicles. So uh, so running some in-town bus routes is is certainly plausible. Possible plausible it's both those things yes one of the things that I'd quite like to do uh, in this series would be to to actually grid up uh, one maybe more of the American towns in the game to try and give them an actual you know American appearance uh, blocks is not something we do in Europe um, because you know most of the towns go back to uh, medieval times uh, if not further and uh, and as a result I mean you know the the block system's perfectly perfectly good system because it, it makes it terribly efficient to get around the place uh, as much as it does lead to a, an unholy amount of intersections uh, right let's where's my where's my track here there we go You're out as far as here oh, make sure you're on the right line otherwise you'll have to do it again there we go right and the other one. 
And again, this is a good health, healthy length. No, 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 don't get lost. A good healthy length uh, run we've got going on here. There we are, all set. Uh, and because I can see, I can see road here. You can see road here. We collectively, road here can see. Uh, I'm going to start peeling this one around as well, just so that the uh, just so that the AI doesn't get any funny ideas. I didn't put the road back in. It's amazing when when these things actually decide to occur to me. Um, no, there's a there's a road to put back in. Otherwise, there's going to be hell to pay. Uh, right, and I think about that now because I'm about to take some more road out. Ho ho. Right, get round that corner. And then round this one as well. Is that what we want? Is that how we want it? I believe it is. Okay, good. Right, let's get this road in. And then I'll think about depots and how we actually set this up to uh, to, to complete the, uh, the inaugural North American... Uh, rail system which is taking part in taking place in Canada pretty normal stuff right so as mentioned what we want to do is to get uh, to encourage the AI to build on both sides of the station so one of the things I'm going to do to try and try and you know whiz that along is get some roads in and then get some link up happening between both sides <coughs> well, that is quite a, a healthy height of bridge there You know what? Because I'm, I'm 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 feeling that way inclined. You can have a wooden bridge as well. I, the the wooden bridge embargo is over. Everyone can have a wooden bridge. I'm going, going all Oprah with my wooden bridge approach. Too much curvature? Uh, there really isn't. If I'm honest, there's there's just not too much curvature there at all. Let's do a bit of that. Now, one crossing alone is just going to lead to uh, to traffic mayhem in the future. So, uh, actually, let's... Is now, is now a good time to do this? Now a great time to do this. Right, let's set you up like that. And then set you up ooh, about there. No! Look, stop being curvy. Straight. Straight is what we want here. All right, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to make a very small section of grid... Obviously, I'm doing it quite quickly, so uh, don't expect any gaps to be of an even nature. Now, can I get a road under there, do we think? Go on, go on. You... It's there, right? Get it in. Excellent. Right. Oh, yeah, that's good. Um... And, and we'll we'll see what that looks like when it's uh, when it's up and up and frisking, uh, and uh, you know maybe maybe this will be the way of the future. And admittedly, we're even in Canada, where where grid-like building is is less prevalent. However, you know it's we will start somewhere. I think I'm just going to end up with this looking like a, a series of terraces rather than uh, rather than a grid. But what the hay? It will be what it will be. Hold on. Yeah. Now these are a little lengthy to be uh, to be blocks in the traditional sense. So let's. Uh, yeah, you don't want to cross over all of them, do you? No, that would be way too difficult. We will accept a certain amount of imperfection, but not too much. Because, you know, I want to get this done because this is not riveting television. Neither is it riveting YouTube. Uh, where are we? Um, come on. And this. And that. Marvellous. Alright. We will see how that develops. Uh, who will want to live in the, uh, you know, in the pod housing? Uh, and who will shun it because it is unnatural and doesn't have anywhere near enough curves? No, no, that's that's not forced at all, is it? No, not even slightly. All right, uh, actually, let's take you down there. Oh, come on, it worked. 
mouse finger slippage. There you go, roll you around there as well. All right, we'll see how that pans out. Stay tuned for, for action of a, of a grid-esque variety. Uh, right, anyway, back to track. Seriously, I, I, I could, I could ch sidetrack myself without a moment's notice at all. I'm not even sure that I actually got everything done there that I needed to in order for this to work. I'll have a look in a sec. There we go. Uh, right, yes, because I was bringing an external link in. Yes, you've, you've not done anything for the external link. What's your, what's your big scheme there, Mr. Wizard? Uh, something, something like this. Right, if we go all the way over here, how's that? Well, the bridge is a little higher than, than really I'd want to do, but I'm not getting much choice in the matter, so we'll, we'll just take that, I think. I mean, look at that. I mean, it's quite a majestic swoop there, and, and the uh, the carpentry team, who have evidently been out in force, have done a, a, done a, a top-notch job. But there we go. Right, that connection is now back up again. Of course, it's probably not a helpful connection. But someone will work it out, I'm sure. Right, so all that remains is to uh, to actually throw some uh, throw some iron down here. Once I've, I, mean, I just need my diamond crossing at this end. There is not a terrain alignment collision. There isn't. There just isn't. Where? Where are you looking at? This is all perfectly set up. Build in two steps. I don't know. I, I, I don't want to build it in two steps. I want to build it in one step, and I want you to comply. There we go. Better. Not great. It's a little far out from the station, which means the queue is going to be in an unhelpful position, but uh, we'll see. Okay, so theoretically, we're going to have trains coming in on the right because that's how they like to roll, and then we'll switch over onto the left track if we're heading out in the direction of, uh, of Frenchton, right? So, switch track, bosh. Uh, now, I'll probably put a signal, uh, something like that, right? So that it allows trains to wait in the station itself. But at the same time, shouldn't allow them to block any of the, uh, the points, any of the approaches. That should be okay, I reckon. Uh, right, I need a. Well, I need some more signals on there, but I'll do that in a moment. Let's get some. Uh, let's get a get a depot up on here, and let's have it just outside town. Something like that, and then oh, steady. Something like this. Right, and then that should do the trick, I reckon. Uh, where are we? Engine shed. What do we like? Should we go? I mean, we could go for this. No, no, we could go for this huge, ostentatious number. Um, personally, I think it's overkill. I think if I if I end up having a, a station at some point that that is serving a, a monstrous amount of traffic, then then that's the point at which I'll uh, I'll go for something with a with a turntable. But this ain't it. Right, okay, so from our friend Librarian out to our other friend, Weber. Uh, Libweb. Lib. Web. Right. Okay, so far so good. And next, let's, uh, let's make it a color that shows up. Green is the color. Right, what are, how are we looking here? Yeah, not helpful. Okay, from Librarian, we head out, so let's get some, uh, I don't want to use waypoints, okay? Uh, I, I mean, I'm not opposed to using them, but I shouldn't need to use them. And then we'll put one that way. See, and just by, by giving the barest indication of which way is acceptable for trains to go, the auto-routing kind of figures out the rest of it for itself. 
Interestingly, however, it's opted to go onto the left-hand path as we look at it here of this station. It's not what I would have chosen, but whoa, whatever. And then we'll stick a wait signal about there. And then we've got the next set of signals just a little bit further up. Uh, but to be honest, no, no, that'll probably be okay. That's will be okay. All right, good. Well, we're we're there, right? Aren't we? Aren't we there? Let's set something running now. I'm I'm going to be interested to see whether we actually uh, whether this accomplishes our goals, uh, since um, since we're already running a, a, a pretty effective uh, a, a bus service, and I'm I'm not going to mess around. I'm going to start with two trains on here. Right, let's uh, we're we're looking American. So we've got this six wheeler, 1842. The general, which I think is more modern, which it is, uh, 1856. So obviously it's going to be one of those. Uh, and then we want some passenger cars. We haven't got any multi. Um, yes, the, the, this is a, a, a mod um, for, for goods carrying, and it's available from 1850. It's obviously not really in the real world available from 1850. I think it's got to be this one. I think the American market would have gone. You're gonna you're gonna yell at me if I've got it wrong. So uh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna plonk it in there and, and hope it's right. I'm assuming that this passenger car is American. It must be, because we've got the Bavarian, the Swedish, and the Spanish Brotelbahn. Brotelbahn. So yes, must be American. There is, there are no two ways about it. 14, 28, 42. That'll, that'll be plenty. Right, clone the thing. All right, and then we'll set them both on whatever the heck I just called this, Libweb. There we are. Right, underway. Uh, oh, and you, Libweb. Now, you will notice that what I haven't done is what I usually do, which is allow things enough space to uh, to, to be uh, perfectly uh, split between the, the two end stations. So we'll see how this pans out. We will instead allow our signals to do the heavy lifting. So let's, uh, let's follow this chap into the station. Okay, that's more or less going to take us to the end of the uh, end of the show. I know. I know. You know, wipe a tear and uh, and fondly look forward to the next one. But uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a quick tour around the plat. How much have I spent? Hmm. Hold on. Important business. Oh, of course, we are in uh, in vehicle replacement madness. Actually, we've come out of two years of, of vehicle replacement madness, so we might be all right. Uh, I'm going to let this run. Normally, I would immediately uh, remove the, um, the the prior. Uh, passenger setup, uh, so the the buses, um, wagons, stagecoaches, what whatever you wish to call them, call them that, and we'll be on the same page. Um, but this time I'm going to let both systems run together uh, because you know competition. Uh, what are we looking at here? Uh, Libweb is a five minute turnaround. Pretty pretty good. Meanwhile, oil goods is well it's only down by 260 quid i'm not gonna i'm not gonna, I'm not gonna burn it in effigy for, for being down by 260 bucks that would just be cruel on my part um anyway there we go look we're rolling and it's it's riding across the uh the, the canadian plains with uh, with nary a, a a moose to see right see look there's the competition doing his thing there Check out us. We're modern. You are you are archaic. There you go. Pretty sure I got the message. Um, and of course, all the level crossings are Danish. Oh, hold on. It's an I air. It's the DSB Litra B, which for those of you who followed the last series is a Nordic setup. Fantastic. I'll go. I'll, I'm going to go Nordic in the next episode, and, uh, and I hope you tune in for that. Thank you very much for watching today. I've been Colonel Failure. A, a little bit of progress, a little bit of, of extra thought thrown at uh, thrown at the the maddening uh, track setup. And we're we're in the kind of the evolutionary stage at the moment. Until we get one of those one of those locomotives or, or road vehicles or whatever you whatever you wish that um, 
that turns uh, early development into uh, a near certain, you know, blockbuster profit maker. Uh, and once we're at that stage, we'll, we'll evolve really quite quickly. I would imagine. Anybody waiting at all? Three, three of them on want to white want to ride the future. See, look, the other one is way too close. You're never going to make profit like that. Never going to happen. Right, put your brakes on. Right, you can stay there until you pass. Let's, let's just fast forward it until uh, until it comes close. We can also treat this as some kind of uh, staged, cheeky screenshot opportunity. Right, and we can, if anyone who wasn't here uh, can be in on, oh my, how fortunate you are to have a cheeky screenshot opportunity. Rather than just pausing the thing until Chappy McChap gets close. There we go. Right, slow it down. Kill that. Come on, clear the smoke, clear the smoke, clear the smoke. Handsome. Although, you know, all this juddering isn't helping the situation. Nuts. Thank you for watching today. I've been Colonel Failure. Uh, throw me a like. Throw me a bone. Uh, and uh, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and I will catch up with you in the very near future. Thank you very much for watching. Cheerio!